And we are counting down to the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea, and CNN is reporting Americans aren't heading to the games and that travel sales are light while flights to South Korea in February are up 24%. That is a really small bump for such a large event. Consider the Olympics and how big it is. And some are questioning how a smaller group of American fans might impact our athletes. What do you think, Jeff? I know that you played sports your whole right, life. Right, right. As far as like, I don't know how many people want to go to the Olymp uh, Winter Olympics as opposed to summer. Olympics, right. you know, so that's one thing I'm putting in the factor. But as far as families going there, I remember playing football, and I was lucky enough to just play in the Midwest. You know, I didn't have to travel to play Division Three football, and I always looked up in the stands and like saw my parents there, and, and, then, I that make you feel. That's and cool. then I felt comfortable. And then I felt comfortable, and I was ready to play. Me too. You know, but I think these athletes are so dialed in and so mentally focused and stronger than the average person that they're going to be just fine without anybody. There. Although I'll take the opposite point of view. I know, and, and you know, I competed at an international Olympic level, Woo. and and I know, thank you for that, wow, thank you. And I know that it was so vital for me to have my support group there, whether that be my sister, my club coach, because there's a difference between your Olympic coach and your club coach and your international coach. So I wanted my parents there, my sister there, and my club coach. So there are, please go to GoFundMe right now and look up specific Olympic athletes, because there are a number of Olympic athletes that are asking for our help to send their core families right. to the Olympics so they can have their support group there. And that's important because it's not just it, it is while important. you're I, racing, it's off the field Sam, too. Sam, I'm going to take the opposite approach of that. I sat on the bench the first few years of high school and my parents came to every game. <laughs> and I was like, stop showing up. <laughs> we know how this story ends. When you're on the bench, just locked eyes with your dad. And he's like, oh my God. Like, yeah, so, you know, when you're when you're good, you want your parents there. When you're not, well, you guys can stay at home. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, you turned out brilliant, Al. Thanks. That's true. <laughs>